What's up guys, Kyle Hunt, Hunt Fitness. There's Lucy, there's a little cat. They're all here to be <coughs> in a video. Meow, meow, meow. All right, so here we are, we're five weeks out from Raw Nationals. Hard to believe, five weeks out, time has flown by. Started at uh, okay. about 14 weeks out and uh, started training specifically for Raw Nationals about 14 weeks out. Hey, I'm trying to I'm trying to talk on YouTube. And now we're down to five weeks. So this week was rough. Like, absolutely rough. The amount of volume and intensity it was probably the most I've ever done, ever. Just the, the amount of weight I, I was using. Just... It's crazy. It's crazy to even think about the the weight for the sets and reps I was getting. And uh I mean really this whole this this whole week this four week training block that I'm current I just finished up this week. This is the last week of the four week training block. And then uh, next week I think we're gonna do a uh little bit of a deload and then then it'll be four weeks right into into nationals. But uh anyway, so this week specifically Hey shh, 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 remember? Shh, 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 yeah. Uh, this week specifically, we were at the end of the week, so right now, we wanted to work up to uh, relatively heavy singles. Um, now, mind you, the amount of fatigue I was feeling was quite a bit, quite a bit of fatigue. To be honest, the beginning of the week, I was, uh, I thought I was going to get sick. Like, you know that, that feeling where you're, you're like right on the brink of being sick? And uh, so I felt it. So I'm like, oh shit! I need to make sure I am recovering and, and getting a little bit, a little bit extra sleep. And uh, I, that, that, I think that took care of it. But there was like three days. The th first three days of this training week, I was, uh, I felt like shit. I had to really struggle to get through it. And I, I tried to sleep in a little bit, and it kind of pushed me back to where I'm feeling okay again. And then. Uh, you know, then, you know, I, I got, I ended up feeling fine, but, uh, so, but this week, this is like, on top of even the training, this week has been tough. Ashlyn started a new job, so, obviously, with, with my work schedule, my training schedule, and now she's working, it's kind of a pain. We had to coordinate our schedules and make sure Lucy was going over to my mom's and to, to watch her so I can get work done, so I can go to the gym, and, uh, it was just you know a big big thing so just a lot going on i think that all is part of it obviously when I, that's another thing about training it's never fatigue and, and stress is never just what's in the gym it's in your life as well so like for example last week when i finished up my my training week i was looking ahead to this week for my the weights i had to hit for my singles and i was like man it's gonna be all those those singles are gonna be cake um and then, then fast forward a couple days, and then all that fatigue and everything felt it felt like came in, and I was not feeling that well. And so at the beginning of this week, I was like, "Oh shit, I might not even be able to make those singles by the time I get to the, get to them at the end of the week." Uh, and if I had to do them at the beginning of the week, I, I probably wouldn't have because I wasn't wasn't feeling that great. But uh, so anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is, this is where I'm at at five weeks out. Take it for what it's worth. Um, gonna take a deload next week, and then. Start getting ready to for for nationals. Really, the last training block heading in, and uh, this is what it is. All right, enjoy the workout footage.
Just got home from the gym. I actually walked home from the gym today. Like I said earlier, uh, Ashlyn started a new job. And when we moved to South Carolina, we, we sold her car because our plan was to buy a new car once we got down here. And it's still our plan. We just haven't got around to it yet. Just been really busy this summer. Uh, so right now we only have one vehicle. So she's working. We had to drop Lucy off at my mom's today uh, while I worked during the day. Well, I went to the gym and then I got to get work done. And uh, Ashlyn has the car working. So she dropped me off at the gym on the way. And then I had to walk home. Luckily, we don't, we don't live very far from the gym, so it's not a big deal. I actually, I actually enjoyed it a little bit. It's, it took me probably like, I don't know, I didn't time it. Probably maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I just threw on a podcast and, and walked. It's warm out. I was sweating good, but I don't know. It's it's kind of a nice cool down. Not, not necessarily a cool down because it's hotter and a bastard outside, but kind of a mental cool down from the workout where I can kind of just... I didn't get to take my morning walk this morning because we were rushing around trying to get Lucy around. I had to eat, had to do a little bit of work, and then we had to drop her off. So, rushed around. I didn't get to do my morning walk, listen to the podcast, so I did that after the gym. So, we got this new TV stand delivered yesterday, and it's not very big, but you would not believe how complicated it was to put together. And not even complicated as in difficult, complicated as in there was about a thousand pieces and a thousand screws to put in. And it was just, for the size of it, it, was, it just seemed like it would be easier to put together. But, and the directions were not very helpful. I mean, normally I don't even look at the directions, but you, I'm just, it took me, it, it took me all of two hours, probably, I mean, I got interrupted. I think I had a snack in between at one point, but uh, it took me probably a total of three hours, but at least two, two and a half hours of labor time to put it together. I don't know. It was it was a pain in the ass. So yesterday, that was, today's Thursday. That was yesterday. And uh, my plan was to record the podcast yesterday, Wednesday, but I did not factor in the fact it was going to take me three hours to put damn... TV stand together, so I didn't get a chance to do that. So I'm gonna eat lunch now. Yeah. I'm gonna eat lunch now and then do the podcast. I'm excited. This one's gonna be a good one. We're talking about training. Last week we talked about nutrition, answered a bunch of nutrition questions, and this week we are gonna talk about the number one thing holding back your training. So head over to iTunes and search The Absolute Strength Podcast. Leave a review. Leave a comment and review. I'm giving G Fuel out to anybody who leaves a five-star review and a comment on iTunes or Stitcher on my podcast. Because it's a new podcast. Obviously, we're only three, four episodes in. And, uh, you know, so when people find it, I want it to seem legit. So you need some comments to kind of reinforce that it's legit because people see a, a podcast with only a couple of episodes and not many reviews or five-star reviews or comments about it they're like, yeah what the f i mean at least me coming from me when i when i stumble across a, a podcast i'm like ah it's new people probably don't know what they're doing it's probably not any good and just skip right over it so help me out help a brother out 